Spear Hunters Infinite Horde is a uh, vampire survivors like, which is actually its own kind of emerging genre that we're seeing a number of games come out. Uh, I'd like to talk about it a little bit more, maybe a little bit later on stream or something like that. Uh, but uh, it is a very, very big step. If you look at if you look at Vampire Survivors, uh, it has a kind of a just just very it's introductory to like a genre in, in, in some cases because it's very simple, to get, easy to get into, simple gameplay. Uh, progression is very simple. This game takes it, still retains those core. Those core elements of being simple accessible uh, and cheap right this game is five dollars um and but but this in this case we're actually adding a lot of layers of progression which potentially even more uh, you can see that some of these some of these points are going out if those of you guys who play poe you're looking at this like oh this is a bitch tree right <laughs> like, this is there's like nothing compared to what we got to deal with well i mean there's room for growth here uh, and for a game of this type this is pretty considerable uh and so yes there's lots of lots of progression uh, elements here that are available to you and the gameplay is uh, also has a few extra layers and a few extra things that are not not uh, available in other games in this you know new niche uh, genre. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. The matches are about 15 minutes. I think they're maximum 15 minutes actually. Uh, you can see I already have <clears throat> about half the weapons, half the currently available weapons uh, open, um, and I have two heroes. Now there are a couple other heroes in the tree actually that you go to unlock. Uh, one of them is right up here, and uh, let's see. I need a hundred of these uh, gem things in order to get these guys here. Uh, in order to get it, let me see. Some of them have other qualifiers too. You have to take a look at. So for example, this I have to defeat three hundred thirty-three chickens, and I have. <laughs> so everything has this kind of hand-drawn, uh, kind of like a, a fun, almost uh, plants versus zombie style of art. Um, it's all very cohesive. Uh, it looks very good and it doesn't get overly cluttered I mean it does get overly cluttered because that's the type of game it is uh, But it doesn't necessarily get so overly cluttered and detailed where the point uh, to the point to where if you're streaming it It looks like a slurry pixel mess. It actually looks pretty good even in the most hectic of times So we have a number of different weapons here. We could go to start with you can only have four weapons uh, in a run uh, After you choose your four weapons, then you'll just get nothing but upgrades for those weapons uh, or skills or abilities or whatever you want to call them and each one has a different purpose, right? There's the fireball here. The fireball just orbits around you. The This acts just like, uh, it's just a weapon that cleaves right in front of you. This is very similar to the whip, I believe, in uh, Vampire Hunters, or Survivors, rather. Um, and then the starting arrow, this is the arrow. This spawns stuff all over the place, spawns stuff, giant arrow thing, okay? Like, each one has a different purpose, right? And there's a whole lot more here I've not yet unlocked. And I've already got, I mean, I've only got too many hours in this. Let me see. I've got uh, three hours into it. So the game starts off slow, picks up really, really fast really really fast when you start unlocking things uh so let's go and take uh, her we'll take out uh let me see we'll take uh let's take the let's take the orbit there we go something so no no you guys see that when you first get in let me take you just uh, show you guys something new there you go oh we're gonna take the uh let me see how uh, two two maps we'll do we'll do one here on the desert and then we'll do the other character on the other map but each character does have their own perks uh this guy whenever he uh, uh gets uh whenever he levels up he gets 10 health uh, health is is definitely a bit of a rarity in this, so you're gonna have to kind of manage that a little bit. Just gonna move around here. This is how how these games typically start. Very slow. Just a trickle of enemies here and there. Your movement is joystick based. Uh, and typically, it feels like this genre is kind of leaning towards being just joystick based, right? Where you just have WAS to control. You know, just move up, down, left, right. And that's pretty much it. Um, in this case, I'm guiding with the with the uh, the mouse. I can also guide with a controller. I can also guide with WAS. Now, on a controller, it does take a lot more keys because you have one you're holding down for weapons. You have one you're holding down for uh, movement. You have one you're holding down for uh, something else. I forget. <laughs> but I remember last night I was playing. I was like, "Wow, I'm holding three buttons down. I'm doing three different things when it, on when I can just play it with just the mouse." So yeah, ideally I would say yeah, play with just the mouse. Uh, let's see, orbital fire, unlock, uh, spears, and tornado. So then we're gonna choose a weapon to start with, a second weapon here. Uh, let's take the tornado, because tornadoes get pretty insane. So with tornadoes push out forward like this, you start off with two of them. You actually know you start off with one. I've actually specced in to upgrade to upgrade it to allow me to have two of them. Uh, something to keep in mind. Another element of progression, right? Oh, we're getting another weapon now. Uh, let's get the spears. The spears are pretty fun. And it'll probably get like cleave or something directional next. So we have two kind of just all random all over the place. And then we'll get something else that's maybe a little bit more directional like this. The arrow, for example. Perfect. So the arrow's going to go wherever we're facing. 
you can liken this to any any weapon that you know, you're gonna see weapons in this that you're gonna that you've seen already in uh, in Vampire Hunters and Ten Minutes Till Dawn. Is it Ten Minutes Till Dawn or how, how many minutes? Is how many seconds? Is it? Let me see. Ten, it's Ten Minutes Till Dawn. Okay. It's kind of like sixty seconds uh, or sixty days of static or whatever. Like I always confuse sixty days. Is it sixty seconds of static or sixty days? Sixty five days of static? Is one hundred twenty minutes of static? Which one is it? For the record, it's sixty five days of static, but still, it took me a while to really kind of grasp that. Uh, let me see. So enemies are going to beef up a little bit. We have increased attack size here by 50%. We increase AOE size of spears by 10%. You see them popping up all over the place. They do pretty good work. But we're going to go with tornadoes first because this gets, uh, tornadoes are fun. <laughs> There's some money chilling over here. We're going to try to get over there and grab it. Just kind of sneak on in. There we go. Nope. Nice. You see they're flashing over here. Nothing lasts forever. So you have to go pick it up eventually. See, increase number one. One more tornado. There we go. Shoot that. Pew, pew, pew. Another one. Pow, pow. Look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna do some exploring. Ah, we have a pet! Oh, love it! You can unlock pets. They don't, you don't get them by default. You have to unlock them. Um, and they will give you, uh, you'll see in a second, but there's different perks that you could get for them. Some of them are just like movement speed. Some of them are like loot range and such. Uh, let's see, range for 20% and damage. Cooldown rate. Let's go to the cooldown rate. Let's get some more bones. More faster bones. More faster. Here we go. Just gonna stay in this circle here. You can see, you can already see what's happening, right? The circle's filling up as I'm standing in it. If I step out, it starts to go down. Uh, crystal mining speed is increased by 50%. That's really awesome because we could use those crystals for upgrades. Increase here, movement speed by 10%. It's kind of a laughable amount. I wouldn't really bother with it. Uh, and then, well, I wouldn't bother with it now. You could later upgrade these. I'm fairly sure you can upgrade the pets too. Uh, to where it won't be an increased movement speed by 10%, it'll be a base level of like maybe 15% or maybe even 20%, I'm not sure. An increased magnet range by 50%, which is also very useful, but we're gonna go with mining speed because I want some upgrades. I'm hoping that maybe we could get enough enough crystals this time around to uh, to get uh, a new class and, and you explore the new class together. But we need to find some ore. There's a shop here. Again, this is another way that they are uh, taking this genre like to the to the next level basically adding shops adding some kind of a heavier progression more obvious heavy account wide progression stuff which is available in other games sure but here it feels a little bit more like an rpg i uh, see bone shot range by 20 percent and see increased number by one spears let's get uh, let's get the bone shot up let's get that range up that way i don't have to get so close to these guys and i'm kind of squeezing through there we go Collect all that money. 200! 200 is enough to buy something for sure. We'll hop in there for just a minute. There's a little bit of inertia. So if I move and I let go, it's a little bit. So move, let go. Move, let go. You see a little bit of a slowdown there. I feel like the devs are probably still feeling that out to see if they need to tighten that up or or if it's fine the way it is. I'm not sure if we're even really considering it, but they did stop by my chat uh, yesterday uh, while I was streaming this, and they seemed very receptive to like, just, just, just you know, like people just giving feedback and stuff like that. Whether or not they choose to do anything with it remains to be seen, but uh, they seem like pretty cool guys, you know? So you, you seemed all right to me. Uh, see, damage by one, cooldown rate. We can make it go faster. More bones. Uh, damage by one, damage by one. Okay, let's do this. This is not really a particularly good, good or great build, but, um, I'm hoping that we can <clears throat> get that tornado up. Oh shit, I didn't see that guy there. Get that tornado up and uh, we'll use that to take us to victory. And then it'll get promptly, promptly nerfed. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh boy. Shit, missed that second one. Seeing AoE size, cooldown rate. Let's go to that cooldown rate. You can get the cooldown rate on the tornado so low that it will... Oh, oh come on. There we go. That they will uh, deploy before they even finish as they're like moving across the screen. So basically, you see how they move across the screen here? Yeah, you, you'll have waves upon waves before the previous waves even finish. It's actually quite like, outstanding. <laughs> cool down right again! <laughs> Let's keep going! These guys are just feeding me here. You feed me! Perfect. Yeah, let's slide them. Whoa, 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 whoa. We time this, we time this, we time this, time this. Boop, and then, bam! Oh, okay, they're already pretty much dead. Aha, <laughs> because of my bones, see? See, that's where we get the bones. And the tornadoes too, that helps. So much greed. Damage by one, range by 20%, cooldown rates, make bones faster? Make bones faster, sure. I like it there, they're blocked by this. Okay, here we go, first boss, see the bottom, the bottom of the screen there, that meter? Tells us when there's, uh, we should expect some company. Let's go and hop in here real quick. Whoa, what's this? Oh, I can afford, I can actually just afford that, really. I mean, I can afford other things, but that looks the most fun. Hmm. 
All right. So it's gonna drop it on the ground or something. Oh, it's another pet. Nice. I, I guess I, I should have guessed it was a pet, duh. Okay, let me see how much damage. Six damage. Six damage. What is my... Okay, yeah. Everything's doing one more damage here. That disappeared. There's a, there's a, I swear there was a crate there. I'm gonna grab this chest here. We haven't seen any ore, actually, that we can mine with our little miner guy. Oh, 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 oh. This is gonna explode everywhere. More money. More money. And then we're right back up to where we were almost. Oops. I hit something. Let me see. AoE signs. We can reroll this if we want. Try to go with some more tornadoes. No tornadoes. All right. All right. Uh, well, let's just cool down right. Firm believer of faster. Faster more often. Gets the job done. Here we go. Some ore here. That is much faster. Might even be actually 50% faster. Wow, who'd have thunk? Who would have thunk? I gotta get all this material over here before I leave. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, I need something else that's a little more directional here. Wait, do I have the space for it? I don't think so. I, wait, I think I'm at four weapons art right now. Uh, yeah, they haven't given me anything new. Okay. Damage increased by one. Uh, critical strength. Okay, damage control. Oh, let's do the spears. These can do more work for us here. Get in here. These things are called Vinnies. <laughs> that was amusing. Slide up in here. I see there's some help. I see there's some help. That's blinking. That's blinking. Get over here. Some money disappear. We're good. Ah, damn it. Oh, chest. Oh, break it. Okay. Oh, damn it. Uh, trying to stay in the circle. I uh, increase the number of tornadoes by one. Yes. Every time you get an upgrade, there's a knockback. So you kind of plan for that a little bit. Grab your upgrade and just, let, just take the knockback. Okay. Oh, she's. Oh, she's. Oh, she's. Oh, she's. Oh, she's. Oh, she's. We good. We good. We good. Just follow, just follow, follow the tornadoes, basically. Range by 20% and attack size by 25% to damage. Um, let's do attack size of the arrow here. Clear out a larger space for us to maneuver. And I'm gonna go up and get that health. If, uh, if I can get some tornadoes to, to, you know, help me out here. <laughs> Throw me a bone! Not that way! Okay. Okay, we, we need another solution here. Oh, there's another pet here. Oh, like, let's get this pet. Let's get this health. Let's get this money. Let's do a big old lap. Oh, this is one of these guys. Please give me a solid, 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 solid tornado blast, please. Tornado increase damage by one. Gosh, why, why must you betray me? There it is. Okay, let's see. Increase your movement speed, magnet range, rank two, base damage now increased by two. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's get that. You could stack There's a ton of pets too, by the way. I've never had more than two, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll grab all this. Thank you. I'm gonna step off for a minute to grab some of this loot and come on back. Seven damage. Oof, man. I need to up my damage. Like, like, like across the board. Like, okay, here we go. Damage. Boom. Boom. We're gonna slide in there. Do a little dance. Try to keep that number, uh, keep, keep that, uh, 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 graph from filling up. Whatever it's called. The circle filled up. Uh, number by one. <laughs> Things are getting a little hectic now. Boom! There we go. Give, 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 upgrade. Let me see. Increase number by one. Yes. Give me a broader space to work with. Look at this. Look at this. Just like that. Just like that. And now, now we could play the game where we're just following. Just follow the leader. See, more damage. Wow. I, I want to get the cooldown, but I, it's kind of hard to pass up the damage here when we keep stacking it. Eight damage per hit. Like, that's, that's doing some serious work. <laughs> Please go, no, not that way, go the other way, go that way, go that way. Arrows, or not arrows, fucking tornado thingies. There you go, oh, there you go, now it's going that way, okay, hold on. Now that I made a mess over there. Okay, that guy's down, I still have to open his chest. Uh, increase number by one, let's see cooldown rate, let's do increase number by one, more of those. Quick, 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 good. Let's do a quick, quick sweep. Oh, man. 
Uh, Crease on right one. More spears. Good knockback. Okay, I just slide up in here and get another good knockback. Clear this, clear this path. Or this area. Mm, oh, okay, there's nobody around me right now. Uh, attack size. Here we go. Bigger tornadoes. They still start off kind of small, but they get massive as they get towards the end. We got a pet over here. This is a lot. This is a lot. Okay, tornado attacks. That's 50%. There we go. Now, you want to race to get as much XP as you can. Get as many upgrades as you can before the 15-minute mark. Because that's when the boss comes out. I reckon we might actually make it there. Maybe. I don't want to jinx it or anything. Spears, more damage. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, mining even faster. Damage increased by three. Yes. Damage increases across the board. We should have... Uh, now they're doing nine now. Crits are three times. You just saw 27 there. Three times damage for crits. Love it. They just have to crit more often. Which, by the way, crit percentages scale very quickly. So you can spec into crit and do just massive damage. Like, look, like, three to three to eight percent. Okay, there you go. Already. Already a good example. I think about how many enemies are hitting. Like, the odds of you getting crits is pretty high. Once you stack any crit. Gonna slide up over here. We almost got our uh, all the uh, gems or runes or whatever that we need. Not gems though. We've been slacking on finding gems. Let me see. Increase damage by one. Hell yeah, man! Hell yeah! Bees, bees. Okay, we're good. Cactus. <laughs> okay, I need. We need to explore a little bit. I have 900 gold, so we need to go and spend that on something. A store, obviously. Let me see. Ah, okay, now we're getting into three of these, huh? Hmm. Let's hit this real quick. Aha! Ooh, cooldown rate, number by one. Let's get another one. Cooldown rate, I really want, but... But, 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 I have no excuse. <laughs> but we're just gonna try something different today. Work my way around all this, and gonna slide and get that rune, and gonna get this one, too. And maybe follow these things. I'm never gonna go anywhere so long as these guys are as long as these tornadoes are doing this much damage. Let me see. Damage, increase critical strike, chance of range by 5%. Okay, sure. Give us some kind of useful range. Alright, let's do some movement here. It's so hard to walk away from that, but we need to we need to move to find some stores because we're stacking up a lot of money. I'm spending a hundred gold on rerolls because I have that kind of excess cash right now. So, let's do some exploring. Let me grab some more of these. There you go. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Take all that money! Aha! As if it was on command. Cooldown rates, bring that down a little bit. I'm not even worried about hitting things right now because I feel like I'm... Practically invincible. <laughs> oh, we're gonna grab that. Okay, we have another boss coming. Let's go and take care of this mining node here. Ah, there it is. Not boss. I guess like a mini boss or something. Oh no, never mind. We do have some worms. That was really fast. That's a good. That's a good perk. Look at them trying to follow me through the tornadoes. Get out of here. Get out of here. This Drake or whatever, Dragon Warrior Drake. Dracky or something, right? Uh, let's see. Tornado damage by one. Attack size. Whoa! We can go bigger. Let me slide up in here real quick. There you go. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. And then a burst. Oof. Bosses also drop chests, so you could get nice little uh, combinations when you're defending a chest and the boss comes around and you kill the boss and you have chest after chest after chest. It's beautiful. Okay. Come on, tornadoes, let's go. Come on, up, up that way. Go that way. Damn it. There we go. Oh, man. Boner. Let me see. Uh, damage by one. Increase damage by one. Let's make the uh, uh, the spears a bit stronger. They could just do peripheral damage for us. The unsung heroes of perimeter defense. Spears. Oops, I just ate that. There we go. Another boss here. We're just going to go in circles until uh, our tornadoes take care of it. Meanwhile, we need to continue to get more and more swole. AoE size by 10. This is really good. 
This is really good because the spears come up and they just do like ranged or like kind of AOE damage there. So the more spears you have, then you increase, you know, by 10%. That's a huge amount of increase over, you know, six different spears, right? So you end up seeing mobs just exploding off in the distance. Here, another one right here, again. And then you start adding more spears and it becomes multiplicative. You just end up covering more and more of the screen. It's beautiful. That's the way these games are, though. You just stack... You stack upgrades in, in one area, and you're like, I'm invincible! And then the game throws some mob at you, some mob type or something at you, and you're like, oh, well, you know, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'll smoke too soon. Let's go into the store, because I have way, I have enough money to buy probably everything they have. Um, Okay, not quite. That's expensive. What is this, though? Hmm. I say, what is this one? Movement speed increase? Nah, let's grab this one for sure. And then... How much is this? See, 40 runes? Oh, that's a lot of runes. 450. Oh, this guy was a scoop. Digs for loot. Also could dig for health. But let's go and grab this one instead. There we go. At least it's 175. That's enough for maybe a re-roll. Whoa! And I love that they just throw your product on the floor. They just throw it outside. You you buy something from the store and they just come out to help you in your car and they just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that wave of tornadoes right there. Let's make them bigger. <laughs> now, we won't see it until the next one. Yeah, those ones right there, we'll see it. Oh, look at look at them go. Look at them go. This is lovely. This is lovely. Now, when you first play, you're going to struggle a little bit because you're not going to have some of these upgrades that I have. And it may feel like, oh, it's so slow, whatever, but you're still going to have that urge of... Especially for those of you guys who are playing Vampire Hunters on Hyper Mode, right? You're going to come to... The, uh, survivors on, on Hyper Mode, you're going to come to this and you're going to be like, hmm, game feels a little slow. That was my first impression, right? Uh, but shit changes very quickly. <laughs> like I said, only a couple hours in, I had I had several upgrades, uh, meaningful upgrades, that have uh, allowed me to do these kinds of builds. It's like, bam, now massive tornadoes going across the screen. Now I have arrows everywhere, I have spears everywhere, I have bones flying off of me left and right. I can't even leave an area. Not necessarily because I can't, but because why would I when there's just an abundance of experience and everything here? Look at this. I'm just gonna slide up in here. Let me see. Decrease cooldown rate? Sure. Let's just have more tornadoes more often. Why not? Look at how look at they're doing. <laughs> the damage increases that we were getting, that's huge. That's had a huge better like what three I think a plus three damage is what we've got total from like small perks or something, right? Not to mention the stuff that I've unlocked. This is beautiful. I'm 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 so in love with this run right now. I'm so happy we finally got a good run on this goddamn show. <laughs> you got about 30 seconds. Oh shit, this is the time we have to really hustle. Hustle, 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 hustle. Hustle, 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 hustle. See, number by one. Uh cooldown rate. Let's go with cooldown rate. The final boss is in like an arena that appears wherever you're at, so having more of them won't necessarily be all that beneficial when you could just spout out, spout out, the, spout them out more, uh, 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 more often. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Only a couple more seconds. Now you can upgrades while you're in there fighting the boss, but it's just not ideal. Yo, you, know, you want to go in there armed? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, here we go. Right at the 15 minute mark. Perfect. Cooldown rate. Let's bring that down one more time, <clears throat> and that should be sufficient. So, yeah, there it is. They, they all disappear. Gonna get over here, try to get as many of these as we can. Here it is. So we're just gonna dodge. Let, let, let the, uh, woo. Let these things do the work. Yeah, it, it hits really hard, so. Oh, God, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. Yes. Oh man, so easy. So easy! Look at that! Bam! And it's done! That is a successful run! 15 minutes, 45 seconds, 335 runes, 74, well, hold on a second, 74 that you earned on this. How many do we already have? Did we have, do we have enough now to unlock that next character? Uh, a hundred. <gasps> well, guess what? You guys are in for a treat. Let's go ahead and get it! Maxine! Show us a little bit of armpit, girl. Let me see. Keep her cat away from me. 
Here's a new character, uh, Maxine the Red Witch. Movement speed increased by 30%, health reduced by 75%. Whoa! Okay, well, this is good because, uh, you know, we got pretty much enough footage here for uh, today. But we do want to do a second run. <laughs> so let's see how this works out. Let's get her, uh, let's give her uh, the orbital. No, let's give her the, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, God, what do I start her with? Okay, so here's the thing. This is aimable. This is aimable. This is not really aimable, but it's still good melee. Uh, this is random. This is kind of random. This is directional, conal, I guess. Uh, and this is uh, uh, bi-directional, and this is random. So we want something we can have a little bit of control over. I would say probably starting with this, cleave. Movement speed 30%, health reduced by 75%, or maybe something that gets us away. Gets in and out faster. Let's go with spears. Let's go with spears. We're going to highlands. Uh, there's some bonuses here. You can see one gain, one times gain, uh, 1.2 times gain for some of these things. Uh, no curses found in the area. Challenge levels. We're not even the hardest challenge level. <laughs> it's layers in here, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. She is faster. Okay, all we got to do is just dip in and out. Dip in and out. She got 32 health. Holy crap. 32 health. All right, we're just going to dip, 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 dip. Let me see. We'll grab this. Perfect. This is good. Protect us when we go in for uh, for some loot. Let's see, bone shot, arrow, tornado. Ugh. Let's go tornado. I don't know what I would have want otherwise. Like, uh, let me see. Oh, sh ouch! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. She says, "Ouch." <laughs> uh, increase size by 50%. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with that. I guess we're gonna go some tornado route here. Whatever we need to do to survive. Yep, hit that. Swing around. There we go. Create a nice big circle. Nice big circle around us. Whoop. Okay, the circle's closing in. Number by one attack. There we go. Let's just make big tornadoes to start early on. Good knockback. Just gonna slide in and get this rune here. I didn't spend my runes on the last one. I forgot to save those until afterwards. I'll just spend them on my own time. I uh, see number by one, damage by one, increase size by 25%. Let's get this thing up a little bit. Could use a little bit more defense. Close range. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. Slap you, okay, okay. Some loot, some loot, 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 loot. These walls do a good job of uh, barricading in our your enemies, but they also can barricade you in. So there's been plenty of times I found myself pinned, thinking that I was being slick. And then, you know, <coughs> game says nah. <laughs> game says nah, 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 nah. Slap, 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 slap. There we go. Dang. At the very least, we're going to get some good resources out of this, maybe. Uh, increase number by one. Okay, I've not yet chosen another weapon yet because I want to get myself to the point to where I could feel safe just walking around <laughs> with, like, plenty of, like, tornadoes or something. There we go. Yeah, like this, basically. All right, a size. Yeah. We're going to get vines next. I feel like vines might be a pretty viable and decent synergy. Speaking of, there is no synergy like you find in uh, like evolutions uh, in uh, in other games. These weapons typically just synergize off of themselves, right? Like you just add upgrades, all that stuff. But they don't have like a second Evo where they turn into like some other type like the Bible does in uh, Vampire Survivors. Uh, I see increase. Okay, I, I would take another weapon, but I don't want this one. I want to get the vines. Uh, increase number by one, increase AOE size, if the spear is buffed. These guys are rough. Ooh, ouch. Oh, ouch. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Die. 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 Okay, where's my explosion? Where's my explosion? Quick, 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 quick. Good. Oh, that guy didn't even move. Okay, he's dead. All right. Follow, follow the tornadoes. Follow the tornadoes. Cleave. There we go. That's what I need. This thing scales very quickly. Her speed is great, but man, man, oh man, oh man. Her health is just, it's just painful. Uh oh, uh oh, oh gosh. My lord, my lord. There's some ore over here, or some uh, runes, whatever. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes, 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 thank you. Good, good, good. Why, why are they dying? Why are they dying? How much damage they- Oh, come on, I barely touched! Well, you've seen enough. <laughs> you've seen enough, it's fine. Three minutes, whatever. <laughs> She's gonna say that perhaps a divinity web can help with your shortcomings. Oh, dang! 
<laughs> Let's take a closer look at this tree, though. If you're curious. Uh, so I have 17 runes and or 17, uh, 532 runes and 17 uh, of, of these gems. And you can see this is like 100 here. Cooldown re reduced for this. I already have a bunch. So you start off ability cleave, for example. Oh, no, so let's do something you guys have just seen, actually. Like tornadoes. So tornadoes start off um, with just a tornado, right? One tornado. I have and tornado's damage increased by one. So right off the bat, you first pick it up. Boom, plus one damage. Tornado has a 10% uh, increased knockback power. Bam, another upgrade right off the bat. Uh, cooldown reduced by 0.1 seconds. Cooldown reduced by another 0.1 seconds, and then whatever this is. Now these these end pieces, the larger ones, the yellow ones, typically have a uh, a, a larger. Uh, oh, well, this in this case, it's actually a. Uh, um, unlock <clears throat> that you have to get like feeding shell bugs but in some cases though you'll see that it's like a banner it's banner size so when it says banner that means whenever you get the upgrade pop up on the screen that's the banner itself right it's displayed on a banner uh and it says size plus five percent so if it says you know the orbital fire uh increases the size by 20 percent guess what now it's gonna say 25 percent and this thing scales very quickly like over here it says size banner upgrades increase by 10 percent so when i get uh, an ability cleave that says a 10 percent upgrade it attempts to upgrade to, to uh size it's now 20 percent and each upgrade is 20%. So you end up with a cleave that just fucks an entire quarter of the screen. So this is what I'm talking about by having these, these incremental upgrades. They add up very quickly. You can unlock so many things at a time. That was one run. I got hundreds of runes and I could spend these things willy nilly. Probably get at least three. At least three. If I budget it correctly, I can get like 10 upgrades because there's a lot here. They're like 30, 30. These are two, it's like two health though, of course. It's not really a lot. Uh, let me see what's in over here. And like Hinterlands Hard Mode, so there's another mo a map here. You have to defeat the Horse Knight. How I, how I unlock that, the uh, the Hinterlands, or the, sorry, the uh, the desert, uh, was by uh, defeating the Hornet, I think, right? Yeah. Desert? No. No Hinterlands? No. Hold on a second. Let me go take a look real quick. Uh, highlands, 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 Highlands. Hint they are called, it's called the Hinterlands though. Yeah, it's all right. I'm getting. For some reason, it's like called the Hinterlands, and it's, it makes me think of like Eastern Kingdoms of Wild Klimdor, or whatever. So it's just, yeah, it's kind of messing my brain up a little bit. <laughs> Over here, banner damage plus one. So it's just basically, basically, when you pick it up, you just get plus one damage. So you see this incremental upgrades all the way across. Uh, here's Conrad, a new a hero for 100, which uh, I guess we can unlock that uh, soon. Uh, I'm guessing he's just beefier, tankier or something. He looks like it, judging by the picture here. Whoa, you can zoom all the way in on this thing. Holy crap, the pixels. Um, but yeah, this is. Uh, it's, it's a robust tree. It's actually a robust game. Uh, I'm actually very, very, very uh, happy that, uh, uh, very pleased with Crane, Mr. Crane, for suggesting it. Mr. Crane suggested it. He said he has friends uh, that, uh, that that made this game. Um, and he tried to offer, you know, he was like, oh yeah, go talk to them and they'll probably give you a key. And it was like five bucks. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> I'll just buy it and play it. And if it sucks, then at least I don't feel bad. <laughs> I'm all shit talking it. But guess what? It doesn't suck. It's actually really, really good. So check it out. My name is Mike B. A.K. Phony. It's an emerging genre. This this uh, reverse bullet hell, bullet heaven, whatever they want to call it. I'm not quite sure yet. I'd love to figure it out. Uh, but this one's called Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde, available now on Steam. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later.